Hello, my name is Jonathan Bisnett, and I'm here to demonstrate a circuit uh, that uses a dual seven segment LED with multiplexed inputs. I'll show you how that works. The, uh, the device or the, the LED that I'm using is looks like this. It's basically got two displays on it, and it's got nine pins on one side. Uh, these two here are common anodes. One drives each display and then the other seven pins drive the segments A through G. Uh, and I picked this up at uh, Electronic Surplus in Minter, Ohio. So anyway, here's our circuit and basically the way this works is if I change a uh, if I change one of these switches down here you'll see the values change going up and down and change the other one here or go the other way with it uh, what this is is you can see these are these are some octal switches they actually have the values 0 through 7 and uh, hopefully you can see those okay uh, and I can basically click a button on them to move them up or down. But the way this circuit works is it has a 555 timer over here that's running at about 68 hertz, which, which causes this to be just high enough resolution that you can't see it with the, with the eye, that you can't see what's actually happening on this display. Uh, but that, that output from that is, is run into this inverter chip, a 74HC04 here of which the, uh, the first, it's inverted once, inverted a second time. The first inversion is used to drive one of the digits. The second inversion is used to drive the other. Basically those high signals are what go to the common anodes. Uh, the values from the two switches are then fed into these two 74HTC373 uh, driver buffers along with the, sig the same two signals from the inverters to determine which of these buffers will put its value out to the 7447 uh, seven segment driver decoder chip of which then that's fed into those uh, seven LEDs on the back. To help you see better exactly what's happening here if I take this, this small capacitor out of here and put a uh, much larger one in here oops get sure get this in here properly you'll see what it's actually doing is oscillating I've caused it to oscillate much slower but it's oscillating and constantly writing each value back and forth it's just doing it with the other capacitor so much faster that your your eye cannot see and decipher that that's what's occurring so I put that back in there you'll see that it goes back to a point where you cannot see the difference so the way this circuit works uh, is I have a uh, schematic here and the uh, sch schematic shows you pretty much what I was doing on the, uh, or showing you on the board. I've got a 555 timer up here in the left hand corner uh, and you'll see the capacitors down at the bottom left that drive that timer. The output of the timer is fed into two inverting gates of which you'll notice each gate drives one of the seven segment outputs. And then right below those two inverters are two uh, sets of three switches each. I did that because I obviously didn't have a, an octal switch in my uh, uh, tool to use, so those represent the octal switches. You'll see the pull-up resistors that I'm using to get the proper outputs. And then the information from those switches is going into the two 74HTC373 chips on the bottom right. And the output from each of those chips goes up into the decoder driver and then into the individual LEDs uh, through those common set of seven pins. The, uh, you'll also notice that the inverting signals from those two inverters up the top come down and each one drives a different chip. So the oscillations drive this. Basically, on a high signal, one of the segments is lit, and on the low signal, 
the other segment is lit and that's how it bounces back and forth so quickly. So that's the circuit I built. I uh, hope that proves interesting and you're able to do something uh, with uh, dual seven segment displays. Thank you.